G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, if you've got a lathe like this, or smaller, or a bit bigger, one thing you've got to have is tooling. And when you start off, most people start off with high speed steel. Well, I did anyway, long way, long a while back. And I, you know, used that for years. And then later I got some carbide tooling, indexable carbide tooling. TCMT, very popular choice for small lathes because they put low load on the lathe. Uh, they're very common, easy to get, not expensive, and they're quite chip resistant uh, as carbide goes. You know, they're not bad really. They've got a uh, 60 degree tip on them, and of course the positive rate, you can see that sloping back, that's the positive rate, and that. Okay, you lose a bit of rigidity that way, but it's overall a good uh, a good insert for this sort of lathe, and yeah, it won't overtax the lathe, and it will still do a really good job. Now, some people use other inserts with uh, slightly bigger or slightly smaller angles on them. It's personal choice, you know. You can't really say that one is any better than the other. It's how you use them that really counts. And as I said, yeah, these are good. I like them and, yeah, they were recommended to me by a, a professional machinist years ago as a good all-rounder. So, what am I coming to? Well, I was looking on, on uh, Banggood and I saw a set of uh, indexable tooling which I thought looked pretty damn good for the money as a starter set for somebody who's got a lathe and they want to go on a carbide and they don't want to spend a lot of money. And this little set, I really liked it because it's not just a few indexable external turning tools, but they also get a boring bar with it, which I think is really cool. And to make it even better, the whole set uses the exact same insert, so you haven't got like multiple inserts, you know? I mean, I've got a drawer full of inserts, I've got them for all sorts of different things, boring bars, TCMT, uh, this one here, I forget what that model designation is, CCMT, yeah, CCMT. You know, you finish up with all these inserts and you're never going to use them all. So I always try and <laughs> keep it under control. Anyway, let's have a look at this set. I'll show you some screen grabs on it. Have a look now. Okay, looks like good buying. And uh, anyway, let's have a look at them now and see what we've got. Well, we've got a, a left, a centre and a right turning tool in 12mm holders. We've got a 12mm boring bar. And as I said, they all use the same insert, which is uh, DCMT. You know, DCMT has a 55-degree... 55, 55 angle on it, on the cutting point. TCMT, which I would normally use, is a 60 degree, so there's not a lot of difference in it. T uh, TCMT will be slightly stronger, but it's also, the inserts are bigger, uh, depending on the size of the holder, of course. And then you get boxes, and you get some wrenches, and you get 10 inserts. Now I fitted the inserts, and they fit really nicely. I'll come in close, and you can have a look at how well they fit. So let's have a look with a magnifying glass. Mm, that one's really good, no problem. Yep, that looks good too. Yeah, it was okay, but there is a tiny little gap there. It's gripping down the end here where it needs to, but there's a little space there. So that one's not perfect. And that one looks pretty good to me too. So overall 
I think you'd be hard pressed to do much better for the money. Yep. They get my nine. That's not bad. And then of course you get the ten inserts. They're Banggood ones, they're unbranded, but I've used them and they've been fine, you know, for home use, hobby use. I can't complain. I've you know, haven't have found them to be inferior. If you want inferior ones, uh, yeah, buy inserts from India. I mean, I've had some <laughs> inserts from India and I'd never touch them again. They were shockers. The Chinese stuff, it seems okay to me. Now, so what do you get? You get this basically and some little wrenches for a princely sum of $26 Australian delivered. I mean, that's incredible, really. I mean, I've bought a single holder from, say, Sandvik, and you'd pay <laughs> more than that for one, you know. So this is good. In US dollars, it's $19. And as I said, it's, it's delivered. So I suppose the thing is we should try them out. Now, is there any downside on this deal? Well, there is one downside. I'll tell you what it is. This is the downside. These little wrenches that you get with the with them, you get one with each box. It's the first time it's ever happened to me on any uh, indexable insert. But these four little wrenches out of the whole four, there's only one, which is the one that came with the boring bar, which is absolutely the correct size. It goes in and, and fits the way it should. That's right. These two here, the middle ones, they're undersized. They don't do anything. And this one here is oversized. It sort of will go in if you push it in real hard. So there's a quality control issue there that Banggood needs to look at with a supplier. As I said, I've had Banggood insert uh, holders before, never had an issue. And they had the identical looking little wrenches. These longer, these ones that sort of spin around in the middle, I reckon you could just grind them back a bit on the tip and they would fit. It's just too much taper. But even so, that shouldn't happen. So there's an issue there that Banggood needs to look at. Now, I've got some other ones from previous sets. And here's one here, you know, Banggood one. Look, fits perfectly. Here's another one from a Banggood one. Fits perfectly. I'm just saying that there's something wrong with this batch of uh, wrenches. And, yeah, uh, I'm not happy about that. As a deal, forget about the wrenches. If you've got wrenches, well, it's no big deal. And, I mean, one out of <laughs> four is going to work. And as I said, I think these could be ground back and made to work. But even so, it's something to watch out for. In fact, let's try grinding one of these back now and just see if it really does fit the hole. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that's the answer. That's, you know, it shouldn't be like that, but maybe they will. I'll give it a go. Okay, here's the one. Here's the one I just ground back, and it works now. So you can salvage those two, no problem. Easy peasy fix. But the one that's too big, well, I don't know how are you get on with that. Anyway, maybe you can just grind off the outside edge a bit. I'll try that. See what happens. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, so that fixed it. So they are repairable. Okay, I just went around and just slightly angled on the, the edge. So, you know, they are repairable, but that, that shouldn't be like that. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully Bengal will look at that. But as I said, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I think this is good value. I mean, four bits for, you know, four holders for 26 bucks plus inserts. I mean, <laughs> what a deal. I did look to see what a set of the old... TCMT holders like I've got uh, would cost on Banggood and they're, you know, more than this actually. They're, they're more expensive and uh, 
you don't get the boxes of inserts either. So I thought, this looks like a good deal. So the only thing now is to try them out and see how they perform. So let's do it. Okay, here's a bit of mild steel. I'll spend it at 440 RPM. Medium feed with TCMT. And see what sort of finish we get. Okay, now I could go fine feed, but I think the fine won't make much difference. This is just not very wonderful steel. So let's try the new insert and see how it goes with that. Nothing in it really, it's pretty much the same. Put on fine feet and see if it goes better. Alright, most of the time medium feet's better I find because the tip works a lot better. in it really. I actually did a good job. When you look at all three, all, you know, both inserts did a pretty good job on what is crummy steel. So yeah, I don't see there's a lot in it really. Uh, they're both really good inserts. No problem with either of them. Okay, here's some stainless. We'll spin it at 660, a smaller diameter. Left all the angles the same. We're on fine feed, so we'll come in on this. No problems there. This is a good insert. Okay, so we're looking at the boring bar and we've got an issue with this four-way holder and that is that I've shimmed the boring bar up as high as it will go in the four-way and I still can't bring it up to centre height. It's below it. The only way to fix that with this holder would be to put a washer under the four-way and just lift it. It's no big deal, you can easily do that. But I'm just saying that's something that applies to this four-way. It could apply to somebody else's too, or tool holder, whatever you've got. Normally I would use a, a, another four-way, which is a lot deeper uh, for my boring bars, 
because I found this before with boring bars, this can happen. It's just that bit out, so yep, we'll have to switch across to the other one and uh, use that. Stuff a bit of loo paper in to stop it getting in the chuck. The old loo paper. Okay. Oh, I've got some just average sort of overhang. This is a good size boring bar. It's it's not huge and it's it's not small. I like the small ones myself. The smaller the better. I find that they uh, are a lot more useful. But this is just a handy size. You could do rugged work with this and go down, you know, reasonably small. Okay, let's do this. And we're on fine feet. Beautiful. Nice. Good job. Got a bit heavier. problems whatsoever. Great. Yeah, I'll be happy with that for sure. Beautiful. Okay, so let's sum up. Well, what can you say? I mean, if, if this set had been around when I bought my TCMT set all those years ago, that I paid like 50, 60 bucks for, and you didn't even get any inserts chucked in, or spare ones, I would have bought this for sure. I mean, this has got everything you want to get you going. And the big plus is, of course, you've got the boring bar, which, oh, you know, a lot of newbies probably don't have a boring bar, and it's not until you need a boring bar that you think, oh, maybe I better buy a boring bar. But if you've got one to kick off with, you can play around with it and soon figure out they're, they're damn handy things, but they're essential. Now, OK, you don't get the in-between angles. You only get the left and right in the middle. But that'll do all your facing and all the turning you, you want. You can just move the tool post around. Fine. Inserts chucked in. So, yeah, I think, well, that's why I picked it. I just looked and thought, wow, if that's not a, a newbie sort of get up and go set, nothing is. And, uh, yeah, for the money. Amazing. Okay, the wrench is a bit poxy. Bangor want to get onto the uh, supplier and kick a bit of ass there. Because they never used to be the other Bengal ones I've got to find. But you can fix them, you know, as I showed you. It's no big deal, but should be right. So overall, taking everything into consideration, I'd definitely give this a 9 out of 10 uh, any day of the week. And yeah, if you're thinking about going this way, couldn't do better, I don't think, for that sort of money. All right, well, that's it from me for now. Oh, yeah, the... Uh, the links to this product are in the video description, so yeah, get on down there and have a look and check it out. Okay, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Got something out of it. See you next time. Cheers.